Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. It is a new release week for Blu-ray and 4K Ultra HD, so here's what's coming out in stores and online for February 14th, 2023. Don't forget to use the Amazon affiliate link in the comment section below if you're interested in any of these titles. One of the big releases this Tuesday will be Steven Spielberg's The Fablemans, which is getting a standard Blu-ray and a 4K Ultra HD. Both will be readily available in stores at Best Buy and Target, and of course, various online retailers. The latest Disney animated film, Strange World, is coming out on Blu-ray and 4K. Now, the Blu-ray edition will be available locally and at online retailers. Now, if you want the slipcover of the 4K, the only way to pick that up is if you're a member of the Disney Movie Club. It will not be available in stores or at other online retailers. Now, if you don't mind steelbooks or if you're a steelbook collector, Strange World is getting a 4K Best Buy exclusive steelbook only available at that retailer. It is confirmed to be in stores on Tuesday and on their website for shipping. So once again, the normal 4K, you have to pick that up through the Disney Movie Club, but if you want the steelbook, the 4K edition will be at Best Buy. From Warner Brothers comes the 2022 film House Party, which will be available at only online retailers. As part of the Paramount's Presents line comes the 1992 coming-of-age film Just Another Girl on the IRT. And the holiday romance film Christmas with the Campbells will be making an appearance on Blue. This week, we'll also see the release of the 2022 crime thriller Decision to Leave. And from Well Go USA, the thriller Project Wolf Hunting will be out. And the latest from Dario Argento, Dark Glasses, will be coming out on Blue. From the Cohen Media Group comes the 1984 drama Love on the Ground. And the action thriller Savage Salvation will be released. And from 2022 comes the drama Dear Zoe. This Tuesday, we'll see the release of Enter Santo, The First Adventures of the Silver Masked Man, a two-film collection. And from 1986 comes the comedy drama Let's Hope It's a Girl. A pair of horror films will be coming out this Tuesday, the 2018 film Deadly Lust, and from 2010, Lust for Blood. From Shaw Factory comes the 1993 martial arts film Iron Monkey starring Donnie Yen. And from 1968, Zoo, Warriors from the Magic Mountain, will be out. And Shepherd, the story of a hero dog, a 2019 family film, will be available on Blue. Aero Video has Giallo Essentials, The White Collection, three movies from 1971 to 1975. This week from Kino Lorber, The Francois Truffaut Collection, four movies from 1970 to 1978. Kino is also releasing the 1968 mystery film The Bride Wore Black on Blu-ray, and Mississippi Mermaid from 1969 will also be getting a release. And the 1975 biodrama, The Story of Adele H. And from 1933, White Woman is coming out from Kino. On the TV Blu-ray front this Tuesday comes the complete series of Longmire, which has seasons one through six in one available set. And American Gigolo season one is getting a release on Blue. And finally this week, one title from the Criterion Collection. And with all Criterion, you can pick these up in store at Barnes & Noble, and of course, Criterion's website and Amazon are also there for your convenience. The 1968 film Romeo and Juliet is getting a Blu-ray on Tuesday. As for my own pickups on Tuesday, Steven Spielberg's The Fablemans on 4K, I'm absolutely looking forward to. In fact, I already got my copy this past weekend. And Strange World, the 4K steelbook from Best Buy, as well as Dario Argento's Dark Glasses. I saw that one on Shudder, and I definitely want to have that one in my collection. And lastly, I'm definitely adding the Criterion Edition of Romeo and Juliet. Now it's your turn in the comments section below. Let me know what you are planning to pick up on Blu-ray and 4K this Tuesday. And don't forget to use the Amazon affiliate link in the comments section. It really does help out the channel. And also let me know what are you looking forward to in the coming weeks. I know next Tuesday, there's a lot of good titles to talk about. So I'm looking forward to the next couple months. And finally, a special thank you to all my Patreons for your continued support. It is greatly appreciated. If you would like to support me through Patreon, I will leave a link in the description of this video. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.